What's up, sons? It's Blydrod with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm gonna go over the five things I learned while building my first home mining farm. Yeah, that's cryptocurrency mining, and it's in my house, and here are the things I've learned about it. Start things off. First problem, or number five, is going to be that the overclock is always going to be the most common issue with minor reboots. So if you have a mining rig running right now and you have it basically rebooting or restarting the miner every few hours, you could leave it, but your efficiency is gonna go down. So you probably wanna hop in there and just knock down that memory overclock by like 10 megahertz. Not every GPU will perform the same. So just because you have a whole bunch of 5700s and one runs at 920 or 930 megahertz doesn't mean that the other one right next to it is gonna run at even 880 megahertz. This is going to be across the board one of the biggest issues that can save you huge headaches if you just go ahead and concede and knock that memory overclock down believe me it's just just do it and then don't worry about it number four is going to be VRAM temperature is paramount everything has to do with memory if you're mining ethereum or really any cryptocurrency your VRAM which is going to be your video memory is going to be the number one thing. We talked about overclocking it, but it is always going to get hot over time and you're gonna wanna make sure that you are taking care of it. Uh, you can check out a video up here in the corner where I just got a whole bunch of MSI 5700s and I immediately replaced the thermal pads because the thermal pad placement was botched. This is also a common issue on a lot of the Gigabyte 3080 cards, actually 30 series cards in particular, the Master uh, as well as well on the 3070s. So just go ahead and replace the thermal pads. Don't risk it. You'll regret it. I promise. Number three is going to be rig uniformity is paramount. Above all things, if you're gonna be building rigs all the time and building a farm, try to keep it uniform. And by uniform, this is what I mean. Same motherboard, same processor, same memory, and preferably, if you can, same model of GPUs even. What this is gonna do is reduce the amount of configuration time and build time and increase the enjoyment of the passive income. So this is pretty much going to be because, well, if you're building with the same parts over and over again, you're gonna be very familiar with the possible issues with said parts or of course your BIOS configuration settings and on the GPU side, which BIOS you're gonna flash onto the GPU. The motherboard is what I was referring to for BIOS settings there and how everything operates together is going to stay more familiar and you aren't gonna struggle so much troubleshooting over and over again because you decided to go with a different motherboard this time. And that's gonna be a big deal if your goal is to get a lot of graphics cards on the network and hashing as fast as possible. You don't want to be troubleshooting different types of equipment because you will be having to learn new things. While learning new things is good, if you are going to be building a mining farm, you want to go ahead and make sure that you are doing it as efficiently as possible. Number two, Bitcoin.tax, and I am not a financial advisor, but Bitcoin coin.tax will save your butt in a pinch when you're trying to calculate how many taxes you owe. It costs about $39.99 for a year, uh, depending on how many transactions you have. And I will leave a link for it down in the description. It's a non-affiliate link, but you know, uh, in payment, just go ahead and hit that sub and like button. Yeah, that's what we'll take for it. And number one, this is a big one. It's going to be power Power, power. Yes, this is a multi-part issue here. So if you have a mining farm or planning a mining farm for your house, power is going to be the biggest deal. 220 volt, 
will get you more for your money. Meaning that if you are planning on trying to do a mining farm in your house, you're gonna want to get with an electrician possibly and figure out how to get 220 inst installed. Not only are you gonna have a higher limit per amount of amps, right? So as opposed to like 30 amps 120, you can get 60 amps 220 but you are also going to have higher efficiency across the board and that is going to reduce your power bill. So get 220 installed. If you don't have the available funds to do that right now, well, unplug your dryer for the day. I don't know, start hanging your clothes in the backyard. Figure it out. Most home panels are 100 amp some you can upgrade to 200 amps. Get outside, figure it out, call an electrician, see if you need to upgrade it. Another thing is you wanna make sure those wires coming from your power provider are copper. You don't want that aluminum crap. You could have a lot of issues once you start loading down that farm. Next is of course using PDUs. You can get 220 PDUs and I will leave an Amazon affiliate link for them down below from APC. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, they're worth it. You should use them. You can basically at that point get just a couple plugs, a couple 220, 60 amp plugs and plug in a couple PDUs in there and support multiple rigs per plug as opposed to having a whole bunch of individual units on the wall. This is gonna be very, very important. And then finally, this is just a bonus. Upgrade those fire alarms, boys. Upgrade them. If you're mining, upgrade your fire alarms. We don't need anybody dying in a fire here. And there's gonna always be that risk. I don't want to hear any more horror stories of fires starting or apartment buildings and houses burning down from mining rigs. Please, please, please upgrade all of them. I recommend one that will basically a mesh network, if you will, for fire alarms that will set off all the alarms in the house if even one goes off. That way the one in your bedroom goes off when the one in your garage or wherever your mining farm is goes off. And that way you have a better chance of not only waking up and stopping the fire possibly, but also just waking up and getting out of the house and staying safe, which is the number one thing. So that's gonna wrap up the top five things I learned about building a mining farm. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Check out that Crypto.com affiliate link for $25 extra in your Crypto.com account. And I will see you next Tuesday.